This message is for Roy Jones Jr. I'm a Canadian fighter from a very small town in northern Alberta. And Canadians are known to be kind and passive with lots of pleases and thank yous and sorries. Well, I have something to say and it's definitely not please or thank you or sorry. On June 4th, I successfully defended my Canadian Professional Boxing Council Cruiserweight title. And you challenged me to the World Boxing Union Cruiserweight title via video message that was seen by everyone at that fight. What up? This is your boy Roy Jones Jr. And yeah, I'm looking to challenge the winner of this fight between Rob Nichols and Frank White for the WBU Cruiserweight title. So whoever wins, good luck and I'll be looking for you soon. Peace. And for everyone that's naysaying about this, this is a legit World Boxing Union title out of the United States. I accepted your challenge, but recently I find out that your contract sent back to Dakota had ridiculous terms that no promoter would accept. And it makes me wonder if this was done on purpose, a way to get out of a fight. And I say this because recently on TMZ, you stated that you wanted to have a five fight retirement tour only with guys that you know you can win against. Screw those five meaningless fights. Come up here and Dakota will give you a proper send off against a real fighter for a real title. What's the matter Roy? Are you afraid of a small town Canadian blue collar fighter like me? I'm still here and Canada is still waiting. Try this. Simplify your contract. Go back to your roots and fight me because you're still the fighter that you once were. I'm turning the tables on you Roy. I'm calling you out. And if I don't get a response, then I know. When you lost to Enzo, you lost your balls too. Oh yeah, and because I'm Canadian, sorry Roy.